going to take off my hat here and, and take a look at oh this man, lineup. Oh, man, your hair is beautiful. I know. Isn't it wonderful? Do you it like is. what I did with it? Yes. Yes. Ah, it's styled it's really nicely. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm glad you like it. Uh, four River of Blood, two T69s, and three 1390s. And for the other side... Almost mirrored. Almost mirrored. Almost. But that there evil. is that one L tractor that has slightly better view range mm -hmm. than the T1 Cunningham. And also that little gun that you found out about today. <laughs> the 74 pen gun with the stock. What? Yes. yes. What? Yep. Yeah. Hey, you can you can pen everything with that. You can. I'm pretty sure you can pen an E E100. No, you can't pen an E100. I don't think. Um, in, the, in the back? I'm gonna show you how to okay. pen an E100. Okay. No, no. In the back, maybe. I okay. just I don't remember if you can in the back. Uh, Lord Commander is going to take a few hits here as spotted going up the middle. Protector of the Realm in a T69 and another yeah. T69 memory leak. It's kind of crazy. Canada Duck is going to see this going on with his T1 Cunningham. And he's going to have to scramble to safety. It doesn't look like he was yep. actually spotted doing that. Scramble. He's just going to sit there. Huh? Canada Duck, come on, buddy. You, oh, he is spotted now. Run, Canada Duck. Oh, nice. Nicely done. Memory Obviously. Link does miss that shot, and Kenaduck is going to scramble off to safety, going to find his battle buddy R so they can cower oh, together. What a huge conversion by River of Blood. They're going to see, hey, you are way too far out of position, T69s. We're jumping on you. And Striker here is going to try to flank these two T69s, but guess what? 31390 is coming wow, in from the a flank. A lot of misses. A lot of misses. And the T69s will stay alive. The reinforcements have arrived. As you said, the 1390s, they all have a lot of shots ready. A pyro taking an incredible amount of damage, but slipping out again. Everybody from Turtle Police is just staying alive beautifully. And Captain Blood is still at full health. He attempts to come in Big and plays. finish off. Give. But he's not going to make it. any Captain hits. Blood down to 96 health. Oh my god, he's going to be taken out. First Blood going over to Turtle Police. They are up 42, uh, 42 to 18. What? They haven't what? even lost a single tank yet. There are just tanks, three tier eights down. Four River what? of Blood, and nothing has died yet. Nothing. Get no kills. Everything is super low in hit points. This is a big priority problem that has happened. Now Memory Leak in his T69. He has 366 hit points, but are Doc Golem and Hazard clipping at this point? Y they have to be. Yeah, they have to be, absolutely. And Memory Leak is going to try and come on over. Everything, Almost everything's a one-shot. Protector yeah. of the Realm <laughs> and Memory Leak are, are a low roll. And Doc Golem and Hazard could have the most impressive game of the, the whole WGLNA, honestly. If they're able to just five-shot everybody, that would be amazing. Doc Golem is reloaded, and he's just going to go in. Yep. A pyro. Nope, he's going pick. for Memory Leak. One hit, and the second leak. Second hit will bring him down. Oh, his turret's damage is going to have trouble getting oh, shot over. He kills the Lull Tractor. Yep, and he goes for Bumski. Another hit. Big he, plays. A Pyro, though, empty. is setting up the shot. Yes, he is empty because he he uh, used one Everyone's of his shots dead. on the L Tractor. And down they go. Turtle, please, taking the first battle of this match. Looking at the lineups, this is the magic number. Three IS-3s and two AMX 5100s on the side of River of Blood. For Turtle Police, we have two AMX 5100s, two IS-3s, and T-69. I say this all the time. When you have three IS-3s, one shot with all those IS-3s, and then the AMX 5100 does a single shot and it kills tanks. Why this is so valuable is that you have very easy priority targets. Yes. The AMX 5100, they can do the finishing shot. They can do the initiating shot. It does not matter. So you can go YOLO mode with your first AMX 5100. Just make sure you get shots out on everybody. IS-3, one shot, wait 10 seconds. Second shot, wait 10 seconds. Third shot, wait 10 seconds, and you're good to go. And meanwhile, you have your other AMX 5100 that's being a nuisance as well. So it really comes down to how you initiate on your opponents and how you get that alpha damage done. I agree completely. I believe you did ideally want four IS-3s and you'd alpha one tank down, absolutely, even overkilling a little bit. No, 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 no. How dare you? How dare me? The the fourth IS-3 is yes. for insurance because as uh. soon as you lose the that one of the IS-3s, mm. um, which you will do, it's which probably going to happen. Do. It's probably going to happen. Mm. That is a serious problem for you Fire's because all spotted. of a sudden you don't have that synergy anymore. And Captain Blood takes him down. Arg took some shots against Parrot One. Arg's in a T1 Cunningham. Parrot One in the T69. Now he's running for his life as Parrot One is pushing Arr through Tank Alley. Yarrr! Yeah. Yeah. 
gets out. Okay, thank you. You know, I'm starting to think that Captain Blood's team is a bunch of pirates because it's led by Captain Blood, and they have R. Yar. Yar. He's not Yar. He's R. Oh, big Apollo. push coming in from Turtle Police, though, as they are coming right down that banana, going into Turtle, into Mo River Blood's base. And this gives them a chance to cap pressure, but it looks like uh, Captain Blood and his gang are going to be able to come back towards yeah. the cap. They but will be able to attempt to defend look it. Look at that mini-map, too. Also, all the way in A0, you have that T1 Cunningham that's moving over to cap, so it puts kind of a, a clock on Turtle Police saying, hey, you better initiate right now or there's going to be some serious problems. Yeah, Hazard is about ten, five seconds out of the enemy cap. Once that pressure begins, now, oh, wow, that pressure is going to be huge because Turtle Police has no T1s. Oh, wow. They will have to send Brutal. Tier 8 back, and the cat timer is down, started. Minute, 35 seconds to, no, for no, them no, to return no. to base. It's not one Tier 8 they have to send back. They have to send back all five of them. If there's only one, it's 5v4. Guess what? Five is greater than four, I think. The yeah. math is yes, pretty easy. That's right. I'm a stats major, guys. Uh -huh. I know it. I'm glad we have you to, to verify all of our math. Lord Commander is going to try and come around to flank. A minute, 16 seconds left for it's a tier 8 to make it back to cap. It doesn't look like they're going to return to cap. Turtle Police is going to try and finish this fight, then return to cap. Oh, it's Not going to work out in their yeah, favor. Yeah, it's risky. I mean, the fact of the matter is losing the T1s at the very beginning, actually lose two T1s, is, is brutal. You can't have that happen. It looks like... Still not going back to cap. Turtle Police needs to do something about this, but they don't want to do 4v5. They have. To, that's why you have to receive all your tanks backwards. But is that really possible? With the IS-3s that are already committed so far up, you do not want to give be giving back shots to all of your opponents. And you know you're not gonna you're not, you're not gonna backwards walk your way over to defend the cap. It's just not gonna happen. Is there a tier eight? Yes, there is a tier eight actually returning yep. to base. Although it doesn't look like Turtle Police has revealed to River of Blood, that tier 8 going back. I don't know who it is. Who is returning to base right now? I'm um, not sure. I'm sure it's at 5100, though. I mean, that's the most... I see a Pyro. I see no, a Parrot it's 1. Blood. No, no, no. No. We see Protector of the Realm spotted. So it is Memory Leak or Lord oh. Commander. Memory Leak. Here we the go. 642 is going to go back to cap. And that is the cue for River of Blood to push in. That's right. River of Blood taking advantage of this gigantic positional advantage. Uh, they just have numbers on their opponents, and the numbers do not lie. They will give the gigantic advantage over to River of Blood to tie up the series. Now, Memory Leak is starting to get a couple of shots on his opponents, but he's at 5,100. It's not too accurate from so far away. He's, he is, though, in range. I, I'd say this fight could go back in favor of Turtle Police if Memory Leak can get a few yeah, good uh, shots off. Uh, I don't there. know. Ooh, wow, nice shot. Coming out, Canaduck now will take the majority of shots, but Captain Blood will clean up that opponent's IS-3. Lord Commander flanking in from the side. He might get a good shot on Captain Blood. Captain Blood. Lord Commander does bounce a shot off of Captain Blood's rear, wow. and now the pressure is on for him. Canaduck moves up. Nice. He takes one huge hit, and he bounces on a pyro. Yeah. Oh uh, wow, Captain Blood. Another missed him. shot, okay. but Dopper is going to finish him off three IS-3s. That perfect number, although. You could say Canada and Captain Blood not being perfectly efficient there. Yes, but look at it this way. Lord Commander at this point, he's the only one left. But you have to, to realize that one shot away, uh, actually every single tech except Striker is one shot away from dying. Mm -hmm. Striker then will be pushing straight at this 5100, try to absorb as many shells as he can, while the IS-3s come in and three-shot him. Yeah. How, will they have enough damage, Andre, to finish off this t uh, 5100? On average, yes, they will. Ah. Yes, they will. It does it around 1170. That's the average output of three IS-3s, obviously 1109. So it's a little bit of a coin flip, but I would say you know, f about 55% of the time you're going to kill Lord Commander with the three IS-3 shots. Now, that is also assuming that they all put the shots on target. Correct. It's it easy looks like for them to do so, but at the same time, uh, Lord Commander can get the jump on initiation, obviously. Candidoc! No, he will not connect against Candidoc. And he misses his second shot. That is two shots he's put out, or is it three? I missed That's two shots. Two shots, so he's got... He's got a few left. Uh, it's not enough to finish this. He doesn't have enough damage. Not in his clip. Well, he, he didn't reload fully. Did he? Uh, I think I he I would did. have assumed he, he would reload fully. Well, the thing is, now he doesn't have enough to finish off Captain Blood, Dopper, Canada, and Striker. That's, yeah. Well, four shots. You can kill off Canada, Do Dopper, and Blood and tie it up. 
assuming all three hit and pen, and then you have Striker who will come in. Maybe for the they finish. line up and it, th the same. And he's board. gonna meet Striker. Uh, yeah, he's got the. Down he goes, ladies and gentlemen. River of Blood will tie it up one and one apiece after a great initiation and also a nice cap. Hey, Rukil. Hey, what? Let's get it on. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's get it on with an Amex 5100. Three IS3s. Oh, baby, oh, baby. Oh. And a T69 over on the side of River of Blood. River of Blood, I think... Um, kind of listens to me. They have. <laughs> but guess who else who might ha be listening to you? Or maybe I listen to them. Turtle Police oh has my. been listening. Yes, they have. They have. Three IS3s. They've been listening. You, you've been preaching the truth. Gosh, this is so amazing. I, I love them. Mm. I love all these teams. Mm -hmm. Let's just let's attribute all of their their builds to you, Andre, because there's no other option. No, no. That's not the case. Ahead of the meta, I, Andre. I, I, <laughs> Ahead definitely not. of the meta. There have been three Fire is hot as spotted by Hazard. Shots they don't out. listen to me. They do. I'm just a caster. Just a caster? I'm just a caster. I'm basically like... I'm like you, Rico. You like me? Retired. Retired. Hey, I could, I could <laughs> go back kidding, sometime. Represent Team America. You could. I think you. if we put together an all-star team, you'd be on there. Yeah. Or we could pick the most highly performing players in the WGLNA and put them on a team. And really then we fun. could be their managers. Oh my yes. goodness. Do you know who would be in there? Who? Junior. Junior would be in there? Because he's the best kill stealer in the he's game? He's the best kill stealer in the game. Mm -hmm. Does the least amount of damage to the most amount of kills. Huh? That is interesting. It's not interesting. That's why it's we call him the finisher. <laughs> he is, he he's does the finish everything rather quickly. The, the actual medal that we're going to give him is the Reaper. The Reaper. Yeah. Or Don't fear the Reaper. Give him, we're going to give him a big seal with a club. <laughs> we say congratulations for <laughs> killing all your T1s with or the T8. Or what about a club with a s baby seal attached to it? Well, that's what I was... Well, I mean, you, you said a club and a seal. It's like you get a, a live one, you're asking him to club it? Yes. That's brutal, dude. Although I guess he is brutal because you know, he may clubs. may or may not be there at the finals, August 17th and 18th in Las Vegas, Nevada. Be there or be square. And you don't want to be square. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Ensk is our battlefield. Um, they've taken up very defensive positioning. Yeah. Um, uh, whenever you have both teams going to the west side, this is what you can expect. Neither team really wants to be aggressive because it's very easy to play that corner game. Use the alpha of those IS-3s. Obviously, almost kill a tank with those IS-3s and then there, just back up. There is so much that can be done, though, with the west side, and it requires so much finesse to slow play down your opponents. And with the crossfires that you have, out of, for example, with Canada here, his crossfire into the west is fantastic. If you can bait out your enemies into the right positions as River of Blood, yeah. it works the same way from the south for well, Turtle Police. Think, if I, if I do a, a big push from River of Blood up the one line and also go through the north block, I'm going to push all my opponents for really good crossfire with Canada. That's something that you can definitely use, and he's going to have all side shots, which is beautiful. Fantastic proxy spot out of fire is hot. I believe he has spotted Doc Golem, and he backs off a little bit. Doc Golem, recognizing that he is spotted, d backs off in return, is going to hide greater than 50 meters back so that he can re-approach this situation, hopefully get into maybe a reverse angled spot. This and is my spot, uh, man. He's peeking at it. Oh, he's not side. reverse angling. Don't do that, Doc Golem. There's a manner in which you should do this. Yes. And he's not doing it. Of course, he's playing it a little bit safer, I would say, as well. Eh, I, I don't like it. I think you should approach that corner, reverse angle style. I, I agree. Just drive your face straight. Ooh, shot's coming out. I think Captain Blood gets spotted for a moment. I Someone call that the Greetorp angle. The right Greetorp angle? Only on ends, though. But, okay, only on ends. Only on ends on that one spot. In that one spot. It's called the Greetorp angle. Well, if someone does it, we should point it out. Yes. Although I think you have a video where you do that, don't you? Yes, Talks, I have yeah. many videos out. Where you reverse angle in the Greetorp spot? In an IS-3? On Ensk? Okay, this needs to stop me. You really <laughs> love Ensk, dude. You talk about yes. it all the time. Yes, I do. Captain Blood, though, is gonna leave the <laughs> the courtyard, which I would have said gave River Blood some nice control, but not not gonna... Well, oh, they're, they're, re right. they're remounting an attack. Ah. 
probably going up the one line, trying to flank a lot of these tanks that are chilling out on the F line up there. Fire is hot, of course, is over there. Mm. But yeah, they're they're grouping up really hard, and they're gonna push. Fantastic, and Canada joining them. Here into we go. Definitely yep, pushing. Yep, 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 yep. I love it. River of Blood showing that patented aggression that we know them for, and I love this. As you said, they've tempered, they've honed their skills, and they're ready it's, for it's this It's much more like what you see out of Simp and Fulcrum. Yes. They've they've made those same mistakes, and now River of Blood is maturing in a similar fashion. Uh, watch out right there. Striker yep. and Captain oh, Blood ramming into each Blood. other. And Captain Blood taking a huge hit from the five line. It's, there is someone out there, isn't there? 5100? Yes, there is. Yes. I'm not sure if, it, if it's a 5100, but it's definitely uh, a tier 8 tank all the way out there. Bubski is going to take a big shot. 399 damage being done. Another shot from Canada. We'll put him down at 454 hit points. The protector, protector of the realm, of the realm is going to protect Bubski and make sure that doesn't happen anymore. And looks like Lord Commander is going to come around, try and aggress onto Dot Gola. Oh, big shot though from uh, from Striker. And also remember, as you said, Doc Golem is right around the corner with that IS3. He can do an immense amount of damage. Looks like Memory League Pyro and Protector oh, of the Realm are going to engage. Nice. nice, 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 nice. And Dopper. He's gonna go down, it looks like, first up. 89 hit points and down he goes. Now Captain Blood is next priority, I'm sure. As he is right up on on everybody's uh, on everybody's face. Canada, I don't know why they're focusing uh, a bounce Canada. from Pyro, I think, onto Captain Blood. And that could, no, this fight looks like it's gonna go in the favor of Turtle Police. Yep, 40, 40 tier points to 26 in favor of, uh, of Turtle Police. And now, <laughs> It looks like Red Base is under attack, so those two tier ones coming out, doing a little bit of uh, pressure. Memory League should go back, though. Someone should go back, please. Someone is going back, but that could mean the fight could go back oh, into the Ammo favor. Oh, Ammo Rack! Kanaduk is able to take out, it looks like, a Pyro in that IS-3. That and could now even Lord Commander. Oh my god, it's 24 to 18, and Lord Commander might lose it right now. 5100, only one shot away, and down he goes. Can they save it in time? There Stryker is has memory, shots leak. On memory leak. Uh, it's going to be so difficult. Memory leak is not able to get a shot in hazard, but he does kill up the other T1 arc. And Both now Canada Duck and Striker are going to be able to converge on memory leak yeah. while leaving Bubski behind. Oh Bubski's gosh. all the way in like H1 right now. Yep, yep, yep. And Bubski is not able to really do anything at this point. He's just moving way too long. Down he goes. River of Blood now is ahead, 17 to eight. Bubsy is gonna try to engage against two tanks, but it's not gonna work out. All tanks down. River of Blood will take battle number four, two, one in the series. When we come back, battle number five, the decider. Who will take it? We'll find out. And as I like to say, Let's get it on. What do we have for the lineups? We have two IS-3s, a T-32, T-69, and a WZ-132 for River of Blood. Very IS-3 heavy. And on the other side, Turtle Police is sporting three T-69s, two, uh, not two, one AMX-5100 and one 1390. So all auto loader heavy. That this is, is, this is crazy, man. I mean, we got three non, no, four non auto loader uh, tanks out yeah. for River of Blood completely opposite their opponents. Such I'm a looking forward approach. to this. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to this so much. Captain Blood bringing the 100 mil again on his 132, preferring Alpha and APCR for his gold rounds as opposed to Heat. That's right, because he's an intelligent human being. That is, it's a good choice. <laughs> it's I I have nothing against that. It's I think it APCR are is stronger considerably right now. better right now. Yeah. It is stronger. Just and more consistent in damage, even though the variance is a little bit higher than heat. Heat is that that guaranteed damage, I would say. I wouldn't say guaranteed, but it it's used more to be. likely. The 300 <laughs> heat pen was amazing. The the yeah. recent changes to heat brought it back into what I'd say is closer to balance. I mean, it's downside. It actually has a downside. Closer and to balance, farther away from fun. <laughs> APCR, I would say, is uh, more determinant on where you're shooting your opponents. Yes. So Which we'll means that Captain out. Blood can be very skilled. Uh, Captain Blood is skilled. If he can be in this battle, effective with his WZ-132. I'm not saying he's not an effective player. I'm just saying he has to be in this he's one. He's fantastic, though. He is. 
It's just there's a chance he could get blown up, ammo racked. We've seen a few ammo racks today. Yeah, and WZ-132s, by the way, are very prone to being lit on fire. And that is true. Just such sensitive tanks. The engine catches on fire, gas tanks. Mm -hmm. uh, there's the ammo rack. Although ammo racks today we've seen were on T-69s, I think. Yeah. I think most of the ammo racks we've seen in WGLNA have been T-69s. Well, the ends game we just saw was an IS-3 getting That was? Oh, okay. And, and IS-3s are the most common, well, damaged them and ammo the T-69. Yes. Uh, but both of those tanks are definitely tanks where we see them constantly being ammo racked. I know when I'm playing my T-69 or my IS-3, it's like, oh, well, there goes another kit. I wish we could have an auto kit. An auto kit? Yeah. No, no, you don't want an auto kit. What happens if you... Uh, people in, in pro matches bring all gold consumables, usually. Yes. So they bring the expensive gold repair kit, which r repairs all of your modules at once. Oh. So if you can, you hold on to that module until... until I break it into kit. little pieces, Uh huh. my kit, yeah. and then I'd, I'd use it for uh -huh. the first half, and then... You know, yeah, because you can do that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like splitting Can't. a match. Do you know how to split a match and make two, two matches? Actually, like one? yeah, I've, I've done that before. It's the same thing, man. It's, uh, <laughs> well, the thing is, sometimes you break half of the match, and then you have only half a match. And it works. It's just not as good as a big match. Oh, looks like River of Blood. Details. Yes. Details. It's going to get pushed into you real quick. Oh, two shots I'm on the wrong side being of the used on that T1. So if there are any initiations right now from River of Blood, they will have a nice little advantage with a decrease in, uh, of DPM coming out from Turtle Police. Nice alpha damage being done. Canada able to connect one of the shots. Now two IS-3s, battle buddies, ready to poke out and do a little bit of damage. We have the T-69. Ooh, Amex 1390, a pyro, is able to get a couple of shots, or at least one shot. Ooh, parrot one is going to 377 wow. as the wow, push we have is going to come like, in. We have a lot of surrounds and counter surrounds and counter counter surrounds. Striker now going to exchange 1390 by a pyro goes down. A parrot yeah. one down to 122. Nope, he's down to dead. River of Blood 41 tier points against 26. They got the check mark right now. All they have to do is survive. And Canada and Doc Golem need to just push in because I believe Lord well, Commander Memory League and Protector Drum are reloading. Yeah, yeah, actually they're all on reload. Ah, uh, Doc Canada Golem! Oh my gosh, got, yeah, Canada got he in the way it. of Doc Golem. Simped the shot. <laughs> Thank goodness it was the turret because that was able to deflect the shot, else he would have been in a lot of trouble. Uh, 14 hit points left on Memory Leak. Just one more shot. Captain Blood will go down though, unfortunately, 33 to 26. Canada, don't get scared. It's just a T1. It's forward. just a T1. Move forward. Get that T69. Protector of the Realm is exposed right now. And he will... Oh, wow. Actually sinks the shot the around. Memory Link still have 14 hit points, by the way. And everything looks good for River of Blood. They have all their tanks together. Oh. And uh, I should mention the T1 Cunningham gets am ammo racked a lot. Oh, nothing. No kill like <laughs> overkill. It yeah. got ammo racked hard. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> down goes the other T1. Just Detective rolling the realm. in. Is he able to finish it out? T69 by memory leak is Dopper still staying alive. Dopper on the T32 coming around the rear. And boom, down he goes. T32 will clean that up. Just too much, too much hardiness yes. to River of Blood with all of those consistent fire tanks. River of Blood will take it 3-1 in this match. Guaranteeing a spot in Vegas. Congratulations to River of Blood. Blood. They did fantastic. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the wrap-up of the WGLNA. That was Group Stages Day Number 10. I am Andre Gritar Pencho. Joined alongside me is Randall Rukel Holcomb. Day Number 10. Kind of crazy to be here. One day away from finishing the Group Stages. Yeah, we have only a few teams left to decide if they're That's going right. to go to Vegas. It's crunch time, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Now. If you guys don't know the format, first through third in each group will be guaranteed a spot over in Vegas. Fourth and fifth have to fight each other in playoffs mm -hmm. to see if they are going to qualify. Of course, winner goes to Vegas. Loser has uh, to stay home. That's on Sunday. That's We're going to see Sunday. that. So join us on Sunday, guys, if you want to see those final matches to see who will clinch the fourth spot yes into. Sir. Favorite match for today? Favorite match? Hmm. I'm going to look back here. Wreak Havoc Nerve was pretty good. That went to that went to six matches. Uh, that's my favorite one. Yeah, I d that's my favorite, yeah. Clutch. Clutch. I'm going to have to say Turtle Police versus River of Blood. Uh, uh, again, huge congratulations to River of Blood, but I was very impressed with Turtle Police. They need to work on their execution, but their strategy and planning, I was, 
I look forward to see what type of growth and movement they're going to have with even more experience. Yeah. I really like that series. Falcom Gaming took out Casadores in our match number one. Match two is Nerve versus Wreak Havoc, where Nerve took him out 3-2, going to battle six. We talked about that just now. Ermagard Kerner Vern swept Mop 4, 3-0, and River of Blood was able to take out Turtle Police, 3-1, in battle number five. Let's take a look at tomorrow's matches very quickly as we get. Just kidding. Just, just taking a look here at the brackets. I just want to check something because yeah. Simplistic, they got a, f a, a buy today, right? Mm -hmm. yes. So they got a free win, so now they're they're two and four, right? Correct. Yes. And they are in a must-win situation. They play Mop 4 as their last match of the night. That you have Simp versus Ermagerd Kernavern. Ermagerd Kernavern need to win here in order for them to really qualify for, uh, for their spot mm -hmm. in Vegas. If they lose... Unfortunate, they have to play in playoffs. Simple Tinkers versus Scurry Hard for match number two. Bear Huggers versus Refuse to Die and wreak havoc versus Cunningham's for our fourth match. Of course, my four versus Simplistic. So uh, a huge, huge day tomorrow for a lot of these teams. Obviously, this will determine the majority of if they will stay in WGLNA or if they have to depart for this season. Top eight teams will stay in the bottom eight will be relegated. Mm. So, obviously, lots on the line, guys. Um, do you have any, uh, you know, matches to look forward to for tomorrow? Mm. Uh, for me, I would have to say Simple Tankers versus Scurry Hard. Uh, I know Scurry Hard is probably going to be favored in that. Sorry, Junior. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I, I look forward to seeing that, that series. And Wreak Havoc versus Cunningham's will be those two that yeah. I look forward Wreak to. Wreak Havoc, if they win tomorrow, they, they're in, right? Correct. So if Wreak Havoc wins tomorrow, they'll be, uh, they'll be five and two, which means they're in, and they will have to, and yeah, that yeah, would five be. Five wins says you are top three. Mm -hmm. That's what you're looking for. If you have three wins, that says you're in playoffs. That's what we can kind of go by. So three and four, there's going to be a lot of ties, especially with how all of the teams worked out. Yeah, because... So. Cause Ermagerd Kernavern, mm -hmm. the Cunninghams are both at 3-3 three, three right now. Yes. So that's that's playoff right there. But if Wreak Havoc loses tomorrow, they also – well, they, they go to playoff, and then Cunningham's gets in. Correct. Yeah? Correct. So I w and then we'd see Ermagerd Kernavern wreak Havoc. No, not Ermagerd wreak Havoc. They'd fight no. someone from a different bracket. Yes. Yes. That would be interesting. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm getting mixed up here. Just it's okay. I'm go. It's okay. I'm sorry. For all information, you can go over to WGLNA. Dot com. That's where everything is listed, brackets. Just click that, and you can change in and out of bracket A and bracket B. Uh, also, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter, facebook.com slash WGLNA, twitter.com slash WGLNA, and stay in the conversation. Part of staying in the conversation, we get one lucky winner a night to give away 2,000 gold and premium. That person is Shane Gibbons. Shane says... That IS-3 saved the day for Nerve and, and take Nerve versus wreak havoc into overtime. It's sudden death time, but wreak havoc looks stronger. Of course, we knew the answer to that. Congratulations. You won yourself 2,000 gold and premium, and wreak havoc won, uh, won much more than that. Oh, I yes. Would say. Much more than that. Um, also, what's the other thing I'm missing? Is that the giveaways? Oh, uh, yeah, the bot leader. Bot. That's right. Let's take a look at the bot leader right now. As, uh, of course, you guys are betting constantly back and forth. And um, in oh, can you put it on your screen real quick? Um, Asking. As, as we move on throughout the week, we tally the scores and see who has won at the end. That person will be given, I believe, a Tier 8 premium tank. Nice. Or some, uh, some gold and some premium. Nice. That is a pretty sweet deal to get. I yep. I wish I could be winning that gold. So let's nice. Ah, but here is our yeah, Fosta kid. Fosta kid. <laughs> Nobody's gonna beat Fosta kid. He's so this good guy at this. Is, is insane in the membrane, he man. He knows exactly what he's doing. There's you can't cheat. It's not like yeah, you can't. <laughs> There's <laughs> he's just good at betting. Yeah. Uh, kind of kind of insane. Uh, Fosta kid. Of course, we have Savagey X Def. Which is, I think, a new person no up no on no the No, no, he was lower on yeah. the leaderboard okay. yesterday. Well, top three is... is Good job. Yeah. And yeah. we also have Zukume, a player. Adrox is a player. Uh, Hildolfer. Hildolfer. 
He's, he's a new guy. Yeah. Of course, Doc Golem and Amar Baca. So congratulations to Foster Kid. Just have a couple more days to play out the rest of the week, and then that's going to be that. Um, anyway, that's going to do it for us here at the studio. Rukil, do you have any last words? Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the matches as much as I did. Definitely. So, Clutch, yeah. final words? Uh, again, echoing what Rukil said, thanks for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing everyone in Vegas in August. That's right, August 17th and 18th. Don't miss it, but that's going to do it for us here at the Rancho Cucamonga Studios. I'm Andre Greitor Pinkshire signing up. Stay tuned for tomorrow. It's going to be at 5 p.m. PDT, same time as always for our next broadcast. Take care.